So the directions here say to complete the table of values for the function below. And our function here is y equals x minus 4 quantity squared plus 3. So the first point we have to find is the value of the vertex. The entire table centers around the value of that vertex. So to do that, we're just going to direct our attention first to what is inside of the parentheses. And we are our goal there is to find the value that would produce an output of zero. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, if I have x minus 4 squared, and I want this to equal 0, then what does x have to equal? x would have to equal 4, because 4 minus 4 would create a base of 0, and 0 squared is the only number that is unique. So that means that our vertex is going to have an input of 4. To find the actual output of that vertex, I'm just going to continue to evaluate the function that I was given. So here's the function that I was given, and I'm going to replace x with 4, and then I'm just going to continue to evaluate until my math is done. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 squared is 0. 0 plus 3 gives me an output of 3. So now I've found an input of 4, an output of 3. So that is the new value of my vertex in this graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and here is the value of my new vertex. And as you can see, it has been shifted to the right and up. Okay, so now to find the rest of the points in my uh, parabola, I am have, just have to look at the vertex and figure out, well, what are the points outside of it? So the vertex is the center point in the table, and you might notice that the points above it are 1 and 2 less than the vertex, the points below it 1 and 2 more than the vertex. So when you look at the table from top to bottom, your points should be in order. 4 minus 1 is 3, minus 1 is 2, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus another 1 is 6. And again, we're going in order 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 with our vertex in the middle. So in parabolas, you're going to have multiple points that produce the same output, meaning that the outputs for 3 and 5 should be the same, so should the outputs for 2 and 6 because of that reflection in a parabola. Because of this, we only really need to check two of the points. I'm going to check five and six because I'm looking ahead and I'm noticing that there's some subtraction and I don't want to deal with negatives. So let's go ahead and start by substituting in five. Y equals five minus four squared plus three. Five minus four is one squared plus three. One squared is one. One plus three is four. So I now know that when I input five, my output is going to be four. I'm just going to quickly check that if I also were to input 3, that output would also be 4 by just coming above here and going, hey, what happened if this would have been 3 minus 4? That would have been negative 1 squared, which is still 1, and 1 plus 3 is still 4, so I know that those points are correct. Let's come over to our table here and graph those two points. So we have 5, 4, and we have 3, 4. Final step, we're going to substitute in 6. So y equals 6 minus 4 squared plus 3. 6 minus 4 is 2 squared plus 3. 2 squared is 4 plus 3 is an output of 7. So I know now in my table that when x is 6, my output will be 7. So I assume that that will also be the same for 2. Let's quickly check. 2 minus 4 squared, that's negative 2 squared. Negative 2 squared is also 4, so I now know that those points are done correctly. Let's graph our final points here. We have 2, 7, and 6, 7. There was no stretch or shrink in this graph, so you can see that my values are almost all identical. I just shifted the graph to the right and up.